Alright guys, Papa Pepper here with another one of the Wild Man's Wild Friends. This is one of my favorite moths. And you can see it's kind of got an eye-like pattern on each of its four wings. It's kind of got the swallowtail looking uh, tail to it. And uh, it's one of the largest moths in North America. This one I believe is a female. You can see how kind of wrinkly the tips of its tail are there. Uh, the males have a more flatter um, version of that. So these guys can be found from up in Canada all the way down to Mexico. Um, they only live about a week and a lot of times you're going to find them at night. Um, they'll land on things by street lights, outdoor lights, stuff like that. Um, saw a couple of them today. It was just raining a bit ago so they were just hiding on trees under the leaves where you walk by and you see a leaf that looks like that. I said hey I haven't even touched this one yet. I just picked off the leaf that it was on. Um, so they live for about a week and uh, they can lay over 500 eggs. The caterpillars feed mostly on trees. Stuff like uh, walnut, hickory, persimmon, willow, elm, alder, ash, uh, sycamore, birch. They mostly feed on the, the leaves of that stuff. So not going to be as easy to find sometimes as something like a tomato hornworm or the hawk moth because that'll be kind of more down on our level in the garden where these guys are going to be in the trees as uh, caterpillars. Now depending on uh, how high they are as far as uh, you know in the latitude um, they're going to have between one and three generations in a year so either one generation will exist, lay eggs, have caterpillars and then the next one will come or that could happen three times. And that's common in some moths and butterflies, so they'll have multi-generations within a year. And, uh, what do we got? Just a beautiful one. You know, they're very fuzzy bodied. They kind of got a white body on there. Their antenna kind of look like little feathers or leaves. And, uh, just a beautiful moth. So, one of the cool ones out there, one of my favorites. I used to enjoy finding these as a kid. Uh, they seem even bigger <laughs> as a kid. But, uh, they can get a little bit bigger in this too. So like I said, they're one of the largest ones in, uh, in North America. So it's a beautiful moth. Hope you guys enjoy it and uh, pop out. As always, I'm Papa Pepper, and I'd like to remind you, don't post for free. If you'd like to be part of a revolution in social media, an economic power to the people where users can actually blog for cryptocurrency, then I'd recommend that you check out steamit.com and join the revolution. Pop out.